Hi everyone, it's Michael. So I have a very charming problem for you all today. This one was from the 2014 Taiwan team selection test. So the test to determine the students that make the International Math Olympiad. And it was posted on the Art of Problem Solving Forum by Evan Chen. So if you'd like to try to solve it, feel free to pause the video. All right, so I'm gonna go over the solution. So we have a triangle ABC, an acute triangle. Uh, D is the foot of the angle bisector from A. Uh, M is the midpoint of AD. Then we draw the circle with diameter AC and it intersects the segment BM at E. And then we draw the circle with diameter AB and it intersects the segment CM at F. And we want to show that BEFC is cyclic. All right. So the first idea I had to do this was to use power of a point. Uh, so if we can show that ME times MB is MF times MC, then that would solve the problem. So here's where I kind of got a little lucky and I wondered, what if ME times MB or MA squared? Um, then that would solve the problem because by symmetry, we could use the same argument to show that MF times MC is MA squared and that would solve the problem. So. Like I said, I kind of got lucky realizing that, but if that were true that ME times MB were equal to MA squared, then that would mean that MA is tangent to the circumcircle of ABE, and from there it would follow that angle MAE would be equal to angle ABM. And the converse is also true. So we want to show that angle ABM is equal to angle MAE, okay? Um, so to show that, if we want to show ABM is equal to MAE, uh, we can remove uh, some of the points and some of the pieces of the diagram. For example, this circle with diameter AB, we can hide it temporarily. Um, and I'm going to let G be the midpoint of AC. So G is the center of the circle with diameter AC. All right. So how do we show that angle MAE is equal to angle ABM? Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is we have an angle bisector from A. So how do we use that? Um, well, the angle bisector of an angle in a triangle always meets the circumcircle uh, at the midpoint of one of the arcs. So I'm going to draw the circumcircle of ABC. And I'm going to let AD meet the circumcircle at point I. Okay, so that's how I'm going to use the fact that AM is an angle bisector. Because then we know that I is the midpoint of arc BC. All right. Uh, and there's one other fact that I'd seen before. Um, so it turns out that triangle ABD is similar to triangle AIC. And this is actually a fairly easy angle chase. So I'd seen this before and I'm gonna show you it right here. Okay, so we have angle ABD is equal to angle ABC, which is equal to angle AIC. And then also angle BAD has to equal angle IAC because they both intercept equal arcs. Um, well, actually that's just by the problem statement because we know that a uh, M is an angle bisector. So angle BAD has to equal angle IAC. And so from there, it follows that these two triangles, BAD and IAC, have to be similar because they both share two common angles. And now what I'm going to do, so we wanted to try to calculate angle BAM. Um, so note that that's uh, the angle that this Chevy and BM makes with AD, or, 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 or it's the angle that... Um, BM splits angle ABD to in the triangle ABD. Um, but, but triangle BAD is similar to triangle IAC. And in triangle IAC, G is the midpoint of that corresponding side. So basically, that means angle ABM has to equal angle AIG. All right, so I'm going to write that out. So since M is the midpoint of AD in triangle BAD, and G is the midpoint of AC in triangle IAC, um, then that means M and G are corresponding points in those two similar triangles. 
And so it follows that angle ABM has to equal angle AIG. Okay, so how does that help us? Um, well, I'm going to extend BM uh, to meet the circumcircle of ABC at point J. And so if angle ABM is equal to angle AIG, then that means that IG has to pass through J um, because angle ABM is the same as angle ABJ. And that's the same as angle AIJ. So from there, it's you can see that IG passes through J. So I just wrote this out. So we have angle ABJ, uh, that's the same as ABM, which is the same as AIG. So if, if AIG is equal to AIJ, then IG has to pass through point J. All right, so now we're making some progress here. Okay, so we want to show, we want to try to calculate angle AEM now. Um, and we want to show it's equal to angle BAM. But angle BAM, uh, that's the same as angle BAI, okay? And BAI is the same as angle BJI. So really we want to show that angle AEJ is equal to angle uh, BJI. That's the same as trying to show that AE is parallel to JI. So that's going to be my approach here. Okay, so how do I show AE is parallel to JI? So I'm going to show you how I do that. Um, it's a little bit clever. So uh, one thing I'm going to note, I'm going to show that triangle EJG is congruent to triangle CJG. Um, and I'll show you how that ends up solving the problem. So angle EJG, uh, that's equal to angle BJI which is equal to angle CJI, because they both intercept uh, equal arcs, uh, since arc BI is equal to arc CI. And angle CJI is equal to angle CJG. Okay, so, so angle EJG is equal to angle CJG, so we have some symmetry here. And not only that, GE is equal to GB, um, since G is the center of the circle uh, through A, E, and C. So, so GE is equal to GC because uh, um, they're both radii of the same circle. And so triangle JEG has to be congruent to triangle JCG. Uh, that's fairly easy to see by symmetry. So um, basically those two triangles, they have side GE is equal to side GC, and then they both share side GJ, and then they both share this angle, uh, angle EJG is equal to angle CJG. So they have to be congruent. Um, okay. And once we know they're congruent, uh, there's a symmetry of the figure. So then we can see that JI is perpendicular to EC. Okay. So by symmetry, we have JI is perpendicular to EC. And then also, um, if JI is perpendicular to EC, well, AE is also perpendicular to EC. So from there, it follows, if they're both perpendicular to EC, then AE has to be parallel to JI. All right. And now we're well on our way to solving the problem because this gives us enough information to do an angle chase um, that will get us to the result that I wanted. So I'm going to write out that angle chase here, but we can use it to show that angle BA or angle ABM is equal to angle EAM. All right. So angle ABM is equal to angle ABJ, uh, which is equal to angle AIJ. And angle AIJ, uh, that's equal to angle EAM. That's because those are alternate interior angles. Uh, and we know that because now we know that AE is parallel to JI. So we have angle ABM is equal to angle EAM, which is exactly what we want to show, because that means if that's true, then as I mentioned before, uh, that means that a MA is tangent to the circumcircle of ABE. Okay, so I didn't draw out this circle, but if you drew it in, 
um, you would see that um, if MA were tangent, then that would mean that angle uh, ABM uh, would be equal to angle EAM. And the converse is also true. So we know that MA is tangent to the circumcircle of triangle ABE. And so then by power of a point, uh, MA squared is equal to ME times MB. Okay, so we did the whole, this whole argument. Um, we used it to show MA squared is equal to ME times MB. We could have used the exact same argument repeated all again to show that MA squared is equal to MF times MC. Okay, so here's the other circle that I hid before. Um, but using the exact same argument, we could show that MA squared is MF times MC. And so therefore, we can set these two equal to each other. And so we have ME times MB is equal to MF times MC. And therefore, by the converse of power of a point, BEFC is cyclic. So it was a little tricky explaining this because I really worked backwards a lot to get to the solution. Um, so maybe it looks a little bit like magic. Um, but if you started with what you wanted to prove, uh, which is MA squared is equal to ME times MB, and MA squared is equal to MF times MC, and you kind of work backwards from that, uh, that's kind of how I ended up solving the problem. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more like this, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Uh, thanks, everyone.